Hey, Sneaky Loose back again tonight, just for a sneaky quickie. Right, last week, excuse me, scratch my head, somebody left some comments on one of my videos, who hates Ubuntu and hates Ubuntu, all the derivatives of Ubuntu, why does everybody go to Ubuntu, it's never worked for him. Right, if it was that bad, nobody would base their distros on it, would they? Let's be honest, nobody would do it. Number two... Ubuntu is the face of Linux. If we don't like, if you don't like it, you don't like it. But it is. It's the most number one out there in the world. Okay, that includes Linux Mint and everything else because they are based on Ubuntu. Yes, we get Linux Mint desktop environment. I mean, it gets Linux Mint Debian version, which don't actually work too well. Actually, I don't know if you've noticed. There's some distros that have started on Ubuntu, have gone over to Debian, etc., etc. And I'm just going to show you a few, okay? I'm going to show you a few, just to, whether you want to call them remixes or their own distros, etc., etc., etc. There's my teeth now. It's good. Okay, we go up here. Okay, so we go to the Ubuntu site. Ubuntu is the main baby, okay? It's getting installed on machines as they come out of the factory in there. They're getting better and better every year. Come on, let's be honest. And if you don't like 12.04, it don't work for you. Let's be honest. When 12.04 come out, some of the graphic stuff weren't too pretty good. But personally, me, when I first downloaded New Band 2, okay, if it comes out, say, October 21st, I don't actually download it until December because I need them to get them bugs sorted out. This time, on the whole, they were sorted out, okay? But not the graphic stuff. But now they are. So, super the duper. Done. So that's the first Ubuntu based. Okay, remember, Ubuntu is based on Debian and uses Debian quite a lot because it's Debian based and they do a lot of work together. Okay, but if you want pure Debian, just go and get pure Debian, but you will have to put a bit more work in it for what you want. But if you're not a, a, a I won't say newbie, a new user, I'm going to say, if you're an intermediate user, you'll know how to do everything and get all your flash stuff and all the codecs that you need to play your DVDs and your MP3s and your doobly doobly Ds. It's there. It's all support out there. Just Google it. It's easy to do. It's even on the bloody forums for Debian, so don't even worry about that. But basically, Debian is supposed to be pure 100%, okay? Which generally it is. And they've got some really nice stuff going down. I remember it is bloody rock solid. Solid as my rock. Okay. Next is Descent OS, right? Descent OS has been one of my faves for quite a while since he first started it, old Brian. Right, he's now going in for the next version over to Pure Debian. Right, we didn't have a real good chat about it, but he's going to have a bit of a problem with the installer, okay? The installer's completely different from the Ubuntu installer. I don't know how he's going to work that one out, but I'm sure he will because he's a good guy. He knows what he's doing. He does it, what he says on the tins. Yes, even American tins, he can do that, yeah. Are they different from UK tins? I don't think so. Tin is tin. He'll be able to do it. Super of a duper. Next distro based on the Ubuntu, which is really popular, is What OS. It's supposed to be light and super duper, which it is. It's super light, super duper. I've been looking at it for ooh, a while now. A long, 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 long while. I'm not going to go on about... People have also been saying, oh, you say you've been doing it for years, Sneaky, and you've looked at it two years, three years ago. Well, I have, but I'm going to stop saying it because it's obviously getting on some people's nerves. Okay? But yeah, what OS is another nice one that's come on, on leaps and bounds. It's based on 12.04 now. It's stable as a stable thing. Yeah, really. Obviously, if you can't get your graphics drivers to work, you need to put a bit of work in, okay? Or some... This is the trouble. If the graphics people are not going to help us, it's going to take some time. End of the day, okay? Another weird one, okay? Emma Buntus, which I'm going to do <laughs> over the weekend... It's just a remix more than anything else, but he's, they're giving it a go, and they're giving it a good go, and I think in the end, in the next year or two or 18 months, it will actually like split and it will be different. But yeah, that's another way that Ubuntu drives the system. End of the day. Next, Linux Mint. Yes, whether you like it or not, Linux Mint is really, really popular. It's got KDE, XFCE, Maya, I like Maya community there's loads of stuff going out there now they've got a debian edition as well 14 i forgot what's going to be called now but it's going to be super duper of course and lots of people will like it okay but at the end of the day it's based on the buntu not debian but debian is based on buntu buntu based on debian so what am i saying well you know what i'm exactly saying they're together they're the same thing really but just two extremes of one system dream studio although i don't use it myself lots of people do if you like doing stuff with music, video and audio, 
this could be the Bantu for you, all pre-installed. But if you don't like it, just get the Bantu and install the stuff you want. Okay, another Bantu base to is Peppermint OS 3 for the cloud. Nice and light, comes with LXDE stroke open box. It does what it says on the tin. It's bloody fast, bloody stable. And that's the sort of thing you want, we go and get it. Right, we've also got Ubuntu Studio, another one. It says it's not Linux. So, so it's not OS X line. No, well, of course it's not. It's Ubuntu Studio based on Ubuntu. Uh, I tried it the other day. It wasn't my cup of tea, personally. Like, it's, something's just not right about it. But I'm sure they will sort that out in the end. Also, another one I really like is Zevon OS. Especially when you do the haiku theme stuff. That's really good nice. Hello, Les. How you going, mate? Les is from Germany. He does all that sort of stuff. Lovely chubbly. I really like Zevon OS. Now, when they first booted it up from the last one I downloaded, graphics drivers was a problem for me. But it's all been sorted. Super duper. And on the other end of the scale, we have Trisquel. Which is full free, 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 free of codecs, free of everything. Yes, it's totally free, and the SFS or the Gestapo for Linux really, really likes it. So come on, get with the system. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So in the day, whether you like Ubuntu or not, it's the basis for the, our actual ecosystem. Yes, Debian's there, Arch is there, everybody is there, Open is there. But Ubuntu is at the front of the system, whether we like it or not, or whether you like it or not, okay? And that's all I want to stay on it, really. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you have a nice day. Bit of apple juice for me, hang on. You see, I do actually comment on stuff that people leave comments on my site. I don't actually always reply to them immediately, because I've got so much going on, man. So much going on. And my glasses are broke as well. Terrible, my glasses are broke. There's some new ones tomorrow. Anyway, sneaky cookie done. It's done, 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 done. I'm going. Sneaky links out. I'll see you later. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.